I called my smartest entrepreneur friends and asked for their best business ideas so that you could do them for yourself. You ready? Let's call. What kind of ideas are you really excited about or thinking about today that you know other people can be like, oh, those are cool business ideas, maybe I can copy David? You don't have to share your best ones, share your second best ones. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the best ideas are the most boring ones, right? So like, I don't understand all this NFT things and a hundred other things. And like, I'm sure I'm missing out on something, right? And I'm starting to feel old. I'm like, what's, why are kids on TikTok? Like, it seems so dumb. Uh, but I think that the best ideas in terms of success are the most boring ones, right? So like, I encourage people to think about like, what boring industry can I, you know, uh, service, right? Like, what does every dentist need or, or something like those businesses don't go away. They don't close. Right. Um, and it's, it's a much more reliable business compared to, Hey, can I be the next TikTok? Probably not. Vanessa Van Edwards. Yes. Yes. Hun. Hi. Okay. I'm not, I'm going to compliment. Are you frozen in time? How do you always look the same for the past like 20 years? I will take that compliment and then we can talk off camera about all the things you can try. All right, all right. Thank you for coming on and doing this. Honestly, it's been amazing and I think this is gonna be so powerful. I right. love it. I, I, I love the idea also because I think we have to be transparent and share with each other. Right? Like we have to share the insider tips. So I'm so happy to share it all. What other business ideas are you excited about that, that you're not doing today or if you had more time you would explore? Yeah, so I think that we have been offered the biggest opportunity in the last 50 years. And that is the world is very digital. And finally, employers and services are okay with it. Because of the pandemic, you have a digital tool for everything. And finally, people are realizing, oh, wow, I can live a lot of my life online. Because of that, I think it's going to open up the world in a new way. So I would think to yourself, okay, you just got probably millions of professionals who for the first time in history, their bosses have said, hey, you're fully remote. Talk about blue ocean. That has never happened. If you were in advertising, you had to be in, uh, in New York. If you were in Hollywood, you had, if you were in television, you had to be in Hollywood. This is the first time where companies are going fully remote, which means you have millions of people who are thinking, hmm, maybe I could work from Honduras. Maybe I could travel the world. Maybe I should build an office in my home. So I would think about all the business and services that suddenly remote workers are gonna be Googling, Amazoning. Like for, I'll give you a really specific example, a foldable stand-up desk. They are killing it. If you design a cool, anything cool for homework, it's gonna sell well on Amazon. If you think your remote workers are gonna travel the world in a different way, think about what service you could offer on a remote island or in your country or as an Airbnb experience. That is going to be, I think it's this huge wild west and we don't even realize how many millions of people are now remote workers. Millions, new. I wish we had a mic so you could drop it. Um, I have one. Yeah, 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 just drop it. Oh yeah, that was, I'm definitely gonna end the video with that. All right, what? Hello. All right, what up, YouTube? All right, Nick, let's jump in. What business ideas are you most excited about today? Like, what kind of ideas? I'm excited about live events. I think we've been so cooped up from COVID that people are dying to like experience things interactive. I don't like anything online. I think the live event is just rearing for people to come back. Good morning, Catherine, AKA Irish Firecracker. Good morning. What are the biggest business ideas and opportunities you see today? One is like crypto and the crypto space is like so early that I would be like a crypto developer and like figure out that. And then there's also the, if you really like just trying to make money, there's all the like, there's not enough trades people in Ooh. right now in the US. It's like, I know nobody is, well, that's like, like not a sexy business, but they make a ton of money. So like, how, how do you just go into an industry that's so old and make it really efficient? I like that one. The crypto developer I love, I think it's still really early on, uh, but I also like non-sexy businesses. How are you, Noble? I'm good. I'm on a writing Wednesday right now. Oh, okay, sweet. So let's jump back in. What about your course stuff? Course stuff, uh, business opportunity-wise for courses. I mean, we started selling courses a long time ago, like through AppSumo and stuff. And back then, it kind of made sense to have some videos, 
hide them behind a paywall and then charge for them. Now it's like you go to YouTube and type in how to make money, how to blah, 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 and like Noah Kagan's channel will show up and have an awesome video on it. So now I think that equation is a little stupider. And so what I think most courses and communities are gonna be doing now is a hybridization of like being an agency and a community. So copywriting course turned from just like a set of 10 videos that people buy to now it's like there's a community of people where you can like submit your copy and have it redone. So it's kind of like a little bit of an agency, like a copywriting agency, and then also a community where people meet each other, interact, all that kind of stuff. They're going to become communities. I think that's going to be a very big thing that's good. I think it, within two years, every single course you see will have a community component to it. That's my prediction. Agreed. Agreed. I think it's huge. I mean, even for, I was thinking about our, like for my YouTube channel, like we have a Slack group and honestly, it's one of the best things. Like people are helping each other and like, I don't know, people can ask questions. It's kind of cool. I think the communityization, <laughs> whatever the word is, yeah. is going to be very, very powerful. And that's going to be a big deal. I think there's just going to be communities with like, maybe like a, a vague idea of like, we all want to make a million dollars. Let's start a community. Like, I think there's value in just that. Like, you don't have to make a piece of software or anything necessarily. You just use something like circle.so or one of those like similar or Slack or Discord and start a community just based on an idea or a goal. And that could be the whole damn thing. For me personally, actually, it's the one that you were trying to get me to do, which is the semi-automated coaching thing. So right now I coach, you know, about maybe half a dozen or 10 people or something. And it's not very scalable because it takes my time and, and all this. And so what I want to do is make something that's semi-automated. And sort of the dream is that every morning when I wake up, I have like a dashboard of everybody that's sort of enrolled and I can see like, have they kept up with their habits? What are they doing? Have they written any like short notes? Mm. And then I can sort of like course correct people, you know, like every day almost, and maybe build some sort of community around it where they're like matched up with each other or there's a bigger group or something like that. I think it's the kind of thing that I would enjoy doing. And uh, yeah, I think just like having talked to a bunch of, you know, my readers, I think they would really be doing too. I also like that you've been doing that manually for the past years and now it's like, hey, this would make it easier for them and for you. Yeah, well, especially as, as travel comes back, I've, I've stopped taking new. When COVID lock on, when the lockdown started, I started taking more people on, and then now that it's coming, I'm not taking any new people. But I feel like this is something that uh, I'd be willing to do, you know, uh, even when I'm traveling. What business ideas are you most excited about today? Oh, uh, the business ideas. Um, I man, it sounds so cliche, but I'm really excited about the future of all the crypto stuff. Just like. I don't know what's going to come out of it, but uh, the possibilities that Bitcoin and Ethereum particularly um, have in programmable money, I think that's really, really interesting. Being able to do um, smart contracts where we can say like, okay, if Noah does this and Neville does this, then this money gets transferred here. Just being able to do that um, in an easy way is going to, I think, be very game changing. So I don't know, but I think there's just going to be some massive stuff. I think we're watching like, we watched in 1999, like the web, like open its eyes and come online. And we always thought like, man, how many more websites could there be? Then like mobile just took over and apps and like no one just ever foresaw that stuff happening. And I think we're at that stage of 1999 internet where it's just like there's people using crypto and you're sending some money back and forth. But I think it's just beginning right now. And I'm really excited to see what that has to offer. All right, let's jump in. Uh, thank you for doing this. This is awesome. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Wait, hold on. Where's the where's kimchi and cupcake? Uh, cupcake is at work. She's at ship. Um, <laughs> and here I'll show you. Uh, kimchi is right here. Kimchi. God, I miss kimchi. <laughs> All right. Um, if someone else wanted to get to get to the million dollars, like, how would you recommend? What path would you recommend them take? I mean, look for diversification, right? So I have, I personally have money coming in from all kinds of different sources, not only in companies that I've built, but also in stocks, in real estate, um, in angel investments. Um, I have a lot of uh, different ventures that allow me to get paid, right? Um, but ultimately you have to start somewhere, right? So I recommend, especially if you have a W-2 job right now, keep that W-2 job for as long as you can and use that to fund your side hustle and then like don't get complacent right like when your side hustle starts making money and you have profit from that i turned around and used profit from my first company to start my second company instead of like retiring or you know going on crazy vacations like 
I literally just kept using that model where I would take the profits from one company and stuff it into another company and start another venture um, and just kept, you know, kept replicating that. And now it's been 11 years. Like we joke, you know, it's taken me 11 years to become an overnight success. Definitely. Um, but that's what it takes, right? It takes hard work and perseverance. If you like this video, you are gonna love this video right up here where I FaceTime my richest friends and ask how they made their first million dollars. I'll see you out there and I love you. Pew, pew. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and tell the YouTube algorithm you like this and you want more videos from Uncle Noah.